Eastside parents are in limbo tonight after they say their child's home daycare shut down suddenly without any notice at all. One of those moms contacted Call 6 Investigates Kara Kinney for help, and Kara joins us now with what happened and how you can protect yourself. Kara? That's right, Erica. Child care experts I spoke with say if a daycare asks you to pay cash only, that can be a red flag. Jennifer Clayton says that was her first clue. Something was off. After taking her daughter to Aunt Andrea's home daycare for more than a year, the provider, Andrea McIntyre, recently started asking for cash only. The mom says she became a little suspicious and insisted on paying with a cashier's check instead. When her husband tried to drop off their daughter on Monday, the daycare was closed and vacant. Neighbors tell Call 6 Investigates the daycare provider moved out over the weekend. Now Jennifer says she's out $120 she paid for child care. And she also took all the kids belonging so we you know you have to take your diapers and formula and change of clothing and all that so everything went with her so everything that was left there is gone too. Now we tried reaching Andrea McIntyre by phone but someone responded via text saying we had the wrong number. Jennifer found the daycare on care.com. It's an unlicensed home daycare with only four children. The Indiana Family and Social Services Administration says they cannot investigate because the child care is unlicensed and Jennifer told us that the police can't do anything because it's considered a civil matter. Now child care experts say if a child care provider asks you for cash only make sure you get a receipt. That's the only only way to document you paid for child care, which can come in handy in situations like this, as well as for tax credit purposes. I'm Call 6 investigator Kara Kenny.